हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम हरदीप कौर टीचिंग इन आईसर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ सोशल साइंस एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी चंडीगढ़ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मॉड्यूल डिटरमिनेंट्स ऑफ वोटिंग बिहेवियर इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल डिस्कस द मेजर डिटरमिनेंट्स अफेक्टिंग द वोटिंग बिहेवियर इन इंडिया इंडिया नोन एज द लार्जेस्ट डेमोक्रेसी इन द वर्ल्ड it is very important to understand the reason for which people participate and in exercising their vote and the various factors influence their choice on the day of voting the study of the factors or situations which inspire and influence the voters to exercise his or her right to vote in favor or against a particular candidate or a party is called voting behavior objectives of the module are after going through this module we will be able to understand the meaning of elections and electorate trace the evolution of elections in india understand the importance of election commission of india appreciate the various determinants of voting behavior in india and analyze the recent trends in voting behavior in india india is the largest functioning democracy of the world where regular free and fair elections are held involving 130 crores of people across central state and local levels under the supervision of the election commission of india one level of election is related to other level of election thus it is very important to understand the reason for which people participate in exercising their vote and the various factors determinants their choice on the day of the election the study of the factors or situations which inspire and influence the voter to exercise his right to vote in favor or against a particular candidate is called voting behavior this module will try to understand the interrelation between the perceived social base of political parties and their reflection in electoral arena which is the study of voting behavior Indian society is extremely complex having interplay of voting factors caste religion class education employment ruler urban governance multi party system which influence the voting behavior pattern of the citizens though it is extremely difficult to point out one or two factors which affect determinants voting behavior in in india but political party affiliation is a broad indicator of voting behavior psychology as a discipline of voting behavior analysis tries to understand the determinants of voting behavior in india uh, primarily through national election service conducted by lokniti center for studies in developing societies new delhi elections meaning and nature election is a process whereby the relation between the political parties and the citizens get formalized and it acts as a linkage mechanism while democracy clearly involves things other than voting such as a free press and civil rights elections are still its fundamental and defining feature in the case of india there is perhaps little need to argue why one should takes interest in elections since independence in 1947 parliamentary democracy has been the central political mechanism governing in india elections are conducted at the various level of the federal structure in india there is a nation wide election that returns representatives of the people to the lok sabha and at a state level elections for the state legislative assemblies and at the grassroots level there are elections for the local bodies like the three tiered panchayati raj system in rural areas and municipal governments in urban areas elections and electorate in india the cutting edge of the interface between society and politics is election election is a process whereby the relation between the political parties and the citizens get formalized and it act as a linkage mechanism in fact the minds of the people in general are reflected or represented in the results of the elections as a thriving democracy intended india has acclaimed fame mostly for its ability to hold continuous free and fair elections since 1951 at national state and local level under the supervision of the election commission of india 
every year national voters day is observed on the 25th january a practice that was initiated in 2011 to celebrate the foundation day of the election commission of india also to enhance the participation of the voters especially the youth in the democratic process elections in india elections in india become a regular feature from 1952 onwards the spirit of freedom and autonomous decision making in independent india is reflected by cross section of indian citizens through the act of voting which is also known as a adult franchise every citizen above 18 year of age are eligible to vote and exercise his or her choice in these elections this is called universal adult franchise elections in india have provided many different kind of results reflecting the changing nature of party system in india from one party dominant system congress era from 1947 to 1977 to coalition politics 1990 to 2014 to a second one party dominant system era 2014 to till date these electoral verdicts reflect the growing uncertainty among citizens as voters regarding a, a perfect political system in india in the analysis of indian parliamentary representative democracy the extent of freedom of the individuals self bring to the four two points the significance of the act of voting and secondly the promise and its fulfillment before and after the vote by the proposed and actual representatives these two points undergoes the significance of the role of electorates a person a conscious person who takes part in directly electing his or her representative and the direction of the electoral behavior the way in which electorates elect representatives in the context of the prevailing socio political and economic context Cephalology in India. Cephalology, either science of voting behavior, is a new subfield in the study of politics. The modern history of academic voting research began in nineteen forty eight, Columbia University, where a team of social scientists assembled by Paul Lagerfeld point the application of survey research to the study of electoral behavior. The results of the 1940 Columbia study two volumes defined a set of questions and research methods that have had a variety of profound effect on subsequent work in the field. The most ambitious attempt by contemporary scholars to integrate analysis of public opinion, electoral behavior, party politics and public policy. scholarly interest in the study of elections in india almost the first exercise of universal adult franchise in 1952 there are foreign scholars like david elkins myron weiner paul brass and other have taken keen interest in studying electoral politics in india almost the indian scholars the prominent are rajni kothari b m sri sikar ikwal narayan ben gendu gangli and meera gangli then vivi jina subhatra mitra yogendra yadav nirja gopal jyal and sanjay kumar available literature in india ikwal narayan his edited volume election studies in india group the cephalological studies in india broadly under the following heads macro micro level generic studies which were usually based on secondary sources particularly the newspapers though supplemented uh, sometimes by personal interviews second macro level aggregate data analysis which was done mostly by foreign scholars thirdly voting behavior studies through numerous are still to go a long way while election studies have proliferated over the years they have failed to equip us with any expertise either in the anticipation and prediction of electoral outcome or in understanding electoral process in general their contribution in enabling us to arrive at any precious formulation about the political behavior of the indian electorate has been marginal ikwal narayan and others made some vital recommendations for future improvement these recommendations are the studies of election politics and voting behavior should be related to the socio economic political context on the one hand and to the political system on the other 
voting behavior study should be conducted within the framework of election politics only as no single method can be exclusively relied upon sociologist should seriously consider the issue of blending two or more methods determinants of voting behavior in india from the literature on electoral politics and electoral behavior in india one can find the following factors as a major determinants of voting behavior in india these are party identification party identification acts as one of the main factor in articulating a behavioral tendency for voting pattern in india issues by forming an identification of issues with local constituency the candidature or the party aims at gathering support from voters immediate gains voters with a short time horizon will tend to favor those candidates that can offer immediate initiatives candidate a good candidate has a considerable chance of winning election in india personality credibility and performance of the candidate are taking into account by the indian voter policy program promise of policy is more important even than a candidate to a voter before the elections anti incumbency wave anti incumbency factor is a major determinant in many elections in india that refer to a fact of polling parties uh, rooted routinely in most of the state assembly polls forcing governing coalition to replace incumbents with fresh candidates charismatic leadership populism and personalism are being encouraged to influence voters charisma of leader is used to a large extent to garner support from the people's religion the influence of religion on voting behavior has become important in india as the religion groups act as a voter bank caste in india considerable importance is assigned to caste based voting the local voters assumes a greater weight to caste issues there has been politicization of caste in india caste groups also act as a voter bank like lingayats and okalingas in karnataka assembly poll result of 2013 was influenced highly by these groups jadavs rajputs jats thakurs then kurmins in bihar and uttar pradesh region uh, the post 1977 electoral politics notices state specific electoral verdict with growing emphasis on problems and issues at the regional level these cast no longer remains traditional vote bank the regional identification dominates the voters mind in india today local elite local elite play a dominant role in identification of voters choice as they act as a means of coercion for the individuals at the villages ideology often ideology play a role in voters mind recent elections in india however find expression in the decline of ideology particularly in the coalition era 3 m's power money mafia and ministerial the increasing role of the violence and crime related behavior with regard to party connections with money mafia and ministerial power has led to the emergence of criminalization of politics which overtly or covertly influence the voting behavior media wave finger voters under the impact of media wave sometimes decides the fate of elections as the mass media particularly in our times of 24 into 7 news channels has the capacity to bring matters to the attention of the public or to the conceal them a process referred to as a agenda setting class the class factor either the economic interest sometimes exerts influence upon the indian voters to make a choice marginal individual voter today caste group or class group influence are playing a smaller role in indian elections it is the individual who is the center of political mobilization re-election or election of parties or candidates crucially depend on how they can integrate the marginal voter into the political sphere voting and electoral representation in india first turn out in indian election def- defines the journal trend especially in older democracies of decline over time in the last 5 decades the overall pattern is that of stable and even increasing turnout in the elections 
second the turnout tends to go up as one goes down uh, the tires of democracy as noted above the turnout in the local and state elections tend to be substantially higher than that in the national elections Finally, the turnout is not lower among citizens at the lower end of the social and economic hierarchy. If anything, the reverse is true since a poor low caste person is more likely to vote here than an upper caste upper class person. Also, the rural electorate voters votes more than their urban counterparts. Voting in the tribal areas has caught up with the rest of the country, and the gap between the turnout of men and women has reduced substantially in the recent years. The electoral culture generates a set of electoral trends. It encourages electoral process and motivates an electoral philosophy as a democratic way of life. India's electoral culture is based on mass-oriented issues, character and issue-oriented leadership, as well as circumstantial compulsions. What is becoming important in the context of recent national and state-level elections in India is the emergence of family in a big way to determine the voting behavior of the Indian electorate. For example, the increasing presence of Rahul Gandhi, Varun Gandhi, and Akhilesh Yadav in Indian electoral space leads one to wait and see the effect of the family determinants' new role in shaping Indian electoral behavior. Voting decisions are based on the evaluation of the economic conditions, voting behavior in India, recent trends. Against the backdrop of the changes in the last two decades in Indian politics, states have emerged as the principal component of political choices. A divergence in the nature of party competition in the state have generated a distinct pattern of political unique to the state, and each state has. taken its exclusive route in the evolving its own language of the competitive politics the evidence is clear enough to demolish the claim that dalits are a homogeneous category and that they vote for any single party it can be very well argued that dalits behave like any other social constituency of this country in civil society struggles dalits may be behaving as a collective homogeneous unit but in electoral arena dalit voting behavior is often if not always determined by logic and dynamics of the party system however with the 2014 national elections for the 16th lok sabha and the state assembly elections after that in india points that the voting behavior reflects an attempt to find a stability in indian politics by choosing one particular political party in the center and in the states such a formalized attempt on the part of election commission of india to start social reform as an addition to electoral reform wires the very slogan of the nvd for the past 3 year is worth nothing greater participation for stronger democracy proud to be a voter ready to vote and my vote my right my vote my might these create both an emotional aura and provide witness to individual voter going beyond the standard approach of the political parties the vote bank approach of our society while at one extreme a growing apathy towards politics is growing fast among the new generation with inclusion of none of the above choice which is also known as a nota in the electronic voting machines at other extreme this a partly innocent buyers of the election commission is to create a fresh and new awareness and interest in political process among the citizens particularly among the youth election reflect political verdict of society regarding the character of the management of the state in india over the years politics become a bad or a moral word in public imaginary and consequently growing apathy was noted in electoral participation it is only by creating a web of public vigilance that the image of politics can be elevated that the Recent trends in the analysis of the electorate and electoral behavior in India point to that direction is the silver lining in the future course of Indian society and politics.
So friends by summing up this module we can say that in this module we discussed regarding the significance of the act of voting, meaning of elections and electorate and mainly the major determinants affecting the voting behavior of the peoples in India and nature and findings of electo uh, electoral studies in India in context to study different factors impacting the voting behavior of voters while voting at the day of the voting.